For track, I used to run in the neighborhood, like go around in the cul-de-sac or something. I used to do that like almost every day. And then after I saw the Ahmad Aubrey video, my parents um, were like, no, you have to just run on this street because we don't want you going off of our site. I felt that that was just really unfair that I can't train for track and get a good training in because of something that happened um, with another black person. The last incident that I watched with Kedron was the killing of George Floyd. When he was laying on the ground and he called for his mother, as a mom, all I could think of, what if that was Kedron? I would feel so heartbroken if Kedron needed me at one of his most hopeless and helpless states that I wasn't able to show up. I was like, oh my, you know, how, how would I live with that? And so I said, God, I need something that I can give to my son that is going to help him understand better what is going on. I knew that we needed divine intervention. And so I went into prayer and the Holy Spirit gave those words to me ever so clearly. And I knew that I needed to give this love language, this um, message to Kedron to empower him and equip him for what he has to face. I'm a young black man doing all that I can to stand. There's so many different facets of that standing for what you believe in, realizing who you are and not allowing anyone to make you bow down or discredit yourself. Um, and to stand with, we know that we're in this thing together. Um, so just that unity, that's what we're um, calling for, oneness and harmony. Stand up for what I know is right. And also just trying to stand against of all the racial profiling towards black people and just um, still keeping my head up. And um, I'm, I'm still going to stand whether um, the police tries to um, dictate me of what I can do or something. And um, I'm, I'm just still going to um, keep standing for my rights. Oh, when I look around and I see what's being done to my kind every day. I'm being hard to this parade. Every day, it just time after time after time, you know, killing after killing after killing. I believe a lot of these crimes are plotted. You know, that's where I'm being hunted as prey. People are setting us up for failure. They are coming for us with that purpose in mind. They have an agenda for us. Every, every day we go out of our homes, every day we enter into society. And even when you look at the um, Breonna Taylor's place, like um, her, her situation, man, I'm not even safe at home. You know, it's just like every single day, man, like we, this is what we live with this type of stuff on our minds, you know, that there's a, I'm, I'm a target. My people don't want no trouble. We've had enough struggle. We've experienced too much violence in our lives uh, and discrimination and hatred already. Give us a break, you know? We, we didn't come here to, to start problems. I just want to live. God protect me. I just want to All you want to do is just go out and enjoy life, but um, we can't do that because of the racial profiling and violence. So it's just like sad that we can't just live. So many thoughts in my head. Will I live or will I end up dead? It's an unequal sequel. Crime after crime after crime, and then we see it in newspapers and TV. So it's just like every day. So um, it's an unequal sequel, and this is what happens. No matter where I be, 
There's no place safe for me. We can't even go to church. And we know we consider that to be a safe place. You know, sometimes we consider that safer than our homes. If I can just get to church, if I just get to church. Man, we can't even go to church, you know? And so what other place, if I can't go to the house of God and, and, and not feel you know, protected or, and even in the sanctuary of my own home, you know, where, where on earth can we go? It just seems like it's an, in, um, a place that you just can't escape from. I'm not asking for too much. So Lord, please help. Black people are not acting for too much. We, we just want to be free and we, we want to go out and enjoy, enjoy life and just live. We can have the Lord on our side and um, God will always be there to help us. He can guide us through the path um, to get to freedom. We could get through this together um, and just at the end of the um, race, it'll probably be over and we could all um, shout and just... Have a good time together. This is my battle cry. We're on the battlefield and we're fighting for our lives. So um, we have to, and, and I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to try to keep spreading the message out there. I'm going to just keep on growing and growing and growing. And I'm, and I'm not going to let nobody just turn me around from it. So um, battle cry is the perfect um, phrase for for what's going on right now. I'm proud that I'm I'm black. I'm not ashamed. I just know that there's um, a lot of restrictions being black in America. So I'm not gonna be afraid or, or something, but I, I just know that I'm, I have with the wisdom um, and I'm thankful that I'm black so um, I can make a change in the world. And that just gives me the chance to change this. And I hope that I impact it with the message. Well, I love my mom <laughs> because she's really intelligent. She has a lot of wisdom and I love that she um, passes that on to me and that I, that I won't be clueless when I go out in the world.